from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Why down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. I want to say something to all you fat women out there. I'm not calling you plus size or pleasingly plump or uh, whatever euphemism you want to use. I want to say something right now. Halloween is coming up and I'm just going to ask you to do the following. Please do not go to this website I'm looking at or any website like it and order what they are calling plus size sexy Halloween costumes. Because nobody but you is going to think you look sexy in this stuff. I'm telling you, I'm a guy. And I'm letting you know, you fatties out there, that we are not interested. We don't want to see it. We don't want to see all that flesh gushing out. We just don't want to see it. And I'm looking at some of these right now. You've got the the fatty uh, costume for somebody who could be half devil and half angel. Or... You could wear a poodle skirt from the 50s. <laughs> or you could wear the 1950s starlet plus adult costume. And there's somebody dressed in like, it looks like Marilyn Monroe and some like it hot. Please. Some like it hot, but no one likes it fat, girls. Please, don't dress like that. Here's one for you fatties out there. Alice in Gothland. <laughs> for you self-mutilating fatties out there. Or how about the Alice Plus adult costume? How about the... <laughs> look at these. There's the fat cop. Halloween costume. The fat Aphrodite costume. Yes. We got uh, the Fat Witch of the West. The Fat Beer Garden Girl. I'm reading these right off a website here. They're selling these uh, sexy Halloween costumes for fatties. Look, if you're fat, you cannot be sexy. That's how it is, girls. A woman is not sexy if she's fat. If you're fat, stop trying to dress sexy. You're, you're, it's not working. Showing us your fat is not going to make us feel any better about it. Look at this. There's a fatty border babe. Plus, this woman's dressed like the Border Patrol in a short skirt with fat thighs sticking out. Don't be doing that. Don't be dressing in the Boxer Girl Plus outfit. Yes, you've got that... Uh, You've got that giant uh, boxing robe covering up your boxing shorts and your boxing uh, bra, I guess. Oh, my God. The Broadway Babe Plus costume. Forget it, girls. We are not interested. No sale. Forget it. The Captain's Mate Pirate Wench Plus costume. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The Chambermaid Plus costume. There's a big fatty standing there in a Chambermaid outfit. Come on, ladies. The bottom line is there's nothing sexy about it. You wear the costume. You're a fatty in a costume. That's what you are. Oh, baby. The, look at this. How would you like some fatty to go up to your door dressed in the classic Red Riding Hood Plus costume? <laughs> oh, my Talk about blowing your house down. <laughs> the classic witch plus costume. 
Many of you women already look like that. All you have to do is put on a hat. How about Cleopatra? Actually, I call it Cleopatra. Look at that outfit. Elizabeth Taylor wears that on Halloween. She walks around wearing that. Cleopatra Plus. Oh, my. Oh, this is scary. The Cocktail Bunny Plus outfit. This is, of course, they can't say the word Playboy because they'd be sued. So here is, you can walk around, you fatties out there, you can walk around dressed like a Playboy bunny. I mean, who is the audience? Who do you think you're going to be showing this to? Who do you think wants to see it? Do you think if you dress like a Playboy Playboy bunny, ladies, that, that guys are going to think you look sexy? Forget it. Holy cow. There's more of these. It just goes on and on. The big fat corrections officer. The big fat cop. The big fat deviant housewife. The big fat devil. The big fat devilicious diva. Ladies, how would you like to dress as a big fat version of Dog the Bounty Hunter? Wouldn't be the first time you've been called a dog, right? Oh, my. How about dressing like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz? Actually, you'll be Dorothy from The Wizard of LBS, if you know what I mean. Think about it, girls. <laughs> Yes, what else do we have here? The Egyptian queen fatty, the elegant witch fatty. Oh, <laughs> how would you like to dress like a big fat Elvira? Oh my goodness, I just can't believe what I'm seeing here. Yes, the enchanting fortune teller fatty, the uh, evil queen fatty. Yes. The, and, and this is for this is uh, for you people who like uh, alliteration. The fine, foxy, fatty mama, Fiona, the French maid, fatty. How would you like to dress like a big, fat federal DEA agent? That's probably what female DEA agents look like anyway. <laughs> no one's going to think that's a costume. Oh yes, more French maids and. By the way, the geisha girl. Now, there's a way to hide those rolls of fat. You just wear that big geisha robe there, that uh, big kimono on. <laughs> oh, baby. I, I, there are women right now ordering this stuff, getting ready for Halloween. Oh, no. The Hawaiian dress plus. Holy cow. Does that include a grass skirt? How much grass would you need to hide that ass? Holy cow. Well, now the baseball season is over at Dodger Stadium. I guess they just get out the lawnmower and make that for you. Jesus. The uh, head nurse halter plus. Yeah, halters. That's what we want to see. Fat girls wearing halter tops. I mean, these women are delusional. Do you really think men want to see this? You gotta be kidding. Gotta be. How about uh, dressing a fatty up as a little red riding hood? I'm reading these right off the webpage. I'm not making these up. I mean, there's hundreds of them. Are you kidding me? Alice in Wonderland fatties. Yes. Here's one called Mariachi, Mariachi Mama. You can only imagine what that looks like. Yes. How about dressing like Mother Superior? Mother Extra Large, maybe. Jesus. Oh, there's the peacock. There's the plus-size Supergirl Halloween costume. <laughs> I could just go on. Look, girls, let me just say this. Don't waste your time and money getting ready for Halloween because there is not a straight man on earth who wants to see what that looks like. Now, if you're going to like the West West Hollywood Halloween Parade or something like that, that's fine. But if your plan is to go to the front doors of, you know, straight men, 
<laughs> you got to be kidding me. Do you really think that straight men are waiting for you to arrive? Keep it to the gay neighborhoods. They find this stuff very entertaining. They'll say how great you look. Keep it to West Hollywood. Keep it to Greenwich Village. Keep it to where gay men gather. Okay? Those are the only people who want to see this. Straight men have no interest in seeing your rolls of fat sticking out. They just don't. We just don't. Now... Being that many of you ladies are planning now for Halloween, I thought much, you know, much as I've had a lot of negative things to say about fat girls, okay, I want to help. I want to be supportive. I want to help boost your self-esteem here and uh, maybe help you with your uh, dilemma because many of you are probably trying to figure out what to dress as. And so I'm wondering, uh, guys, I want to talk to you straight males out there from uh, any color, any race, any part of the country, wherever you are. I want to talk to you. Okay, fat women feel like they deserve to go out on Halloween. Too. Personally, I think they should stay home and stay covered. Okay, but if they're going to go out on Halloween, here's my question for you boys. What should the fatties dress as? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I dated women for 10 years because I couldn't find a man that had any balls. And I finally found a guy who listened to Tom Lankus, and five years after his date, and we got married. From so it took a Tom Lankus listener to straighten you out. Ten years of women, Tom. Tom Lankus could straighten out lesbians. You, that's it's, it's amazing. That's power. The Tom Lankus Show. <laughs> Fatties say they deserve to dress up for Halloween, too. So, uh, what should they dress as? Say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mike. Love your show. Thank you. Hey, what would be more appropriate for them to dress up as other than the Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could even get icing on them if they want, and it would be so perfect. That's right. And then you could touch their stomach, and they go, hee, 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 hee. <laughs> Yeah, or touch them anywhere else if you, want, if you dare. Why would you want to? I don't know. That's why I said if you dare. Oh, my God. Can you imagine they're trying to sell sexy Halloween outfits for fatties? That is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, it's... It's mind-boggling. Why would they do that? It's it, it, well, because they can make money from it. That's why they're doing it. And I understand that part. But what makes the fatties think that, that any straight guy wants to see them dressed in sexy outfits? Well, you know, it's, it's like you say. that There's there's always those few people that jump off the 10-story building. Well, you know, there's a few chubby chases out there, but I don't think the market's that big. No. Well, <laughs> I, I don't use the word big there. I think the market is bigger than ever. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Hey, love, love your show, Tom. Keep up the good work. All right. Thank you for that. Here's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Matt. I've always been a big Star Wars fan. I think this should go as Job of the Hut. Or I got a better one. How about Jabba the Slut? There you go. If they have a, a cute friend, they could wear the Princess Leia. Most outfit. fatties are Jabba the Slut. You know what I'm talking about? It's the only way they get Definitely. men to be interested in them. Yes. They uh, they 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 often tend to do the things that the cuter girls uh, may. Well, because because you know fat for. fat girls love to eat, as you know. That's definitely true. Can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. What should the fatties dress as for Halloween? They want to look sexy, too. Uh, Trey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what up, Tommy? How you doing, boy? Doing great, Trey. Hey, man, you know how the football season is going on and everything? Yes. Hey, I would, I would love to see a fat bitch show up to my door with a throwback Mike Dick jersey on with some shoulder pads and a in her head with a mohawk. How about some knee pads? How about some knee pads, huh? Man, with some knee pads and with the eye black under her eye, Tommy. 
<laughs> and the mustache, which she probably wouldn't even have to put a fake one on. Hey, I would love to see a fat bitch show up to my door dressed like Mike Dickens. Hey, Tommy, like, two weeks ago, me and my buddies, we was drunk, and we seen this fat chick, and she had on this shirt, and, like, it looked like she had on shoulder pads, and my, my homie went up to her, like, hey, you like Mike Dicker, and, like, we all started dying, like, she had a baby mustache, like, growing up, <laughs> and, like, like, oh, that stuff was hilarious, Tommy. Hey, man. Hey, I love your show, man. Like, you like the best thing, like, popping right now. Like, I'm telling you, Tom, like, like you the man. I mean, like, I swear to God. Love Tom, that. Like, you the man. I, I'm feeling your show, man. I'm feeling what you got going. And believe me, I was doing like this one on one a long time ago, baby. You know, you know how the brothers do it, man. You yes, know, I do. Yo, you guys, up, you guys are hard wired. You, the brothers are hard wired for this. Man, Tom, I think, like, when I, before I started listening to you, I thought you was a brother myself. <laughs> For real, I did on my mom. I thought you was a brother. I was like, man, I was like, and then, you know, but I got a lot of white friends, too. But then, you know, I started turning on my friends to you. He was like, this is a white dude. Even my white friends, I was like, yeah. He was like, I'm, he was like man, these guys going, like, hard on these hoes. And that's what we call it. You know, we go hard on these hoes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Tom? I and do. Like, I like do. I said, you the man, homie. If I ever seen you out, and I'm out at Hollywood a lot because I got a lot of boys, you know what I'm saying, that do good things, man. Man, I'm buying you a drink, Tommy. You got Love a drink it. on me. If you ever see Trey, and I know I seen you before I went to Camacho's on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I was chilling up there even though I'm not a Raider fan. I was still up there because, like I said, you my boy, man. Love it, Trey. I'll take that drink anytime. Hey. And, that, and, and Brian Whitman is a little pussy. <laughs> make, make sure, because I know they're going to play it at, at 8 o'clock on the Whitman show. He's a little pussy. And tell him to stop crying. It's like, for real. All these little soft stories. Like, come on, Whitman. We don't want to hear that, baby. <laughs> Oh, oh my God almighty. All right. Thank you for that. Oh, geez. 1-800-5800-TOM. What should the fatties dress as for Halloween? Josh, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Josh. Hey, how's it going? Great. I think, uh, you know, I was just driving uh, home from work, and I saw this big fat chick correcting traffic in the middle of the intersection. So I think they should dress up as, uh, you know, these traffic cops, the one that idiot goes to put out there to, uh, you know, fix all the traffic problems in Los Angeles. Yes. You know, by the way, when you see one of those big fatties out there directing traffic, you know it's going to do nothing but slow down traffic. You know that, right? Well, all they're doing is sitting out there eating a sandwich in one hand and directing traffic <laughs> yeah. with the other one. Actually, no, they're directing traffic with the sandwich. They're waving you on. You thought that was like some kind of a like a like one of those cones or something? No, no, that, that's a sandwich. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, they like they use a hard. subway sandwich the way those air traffic control guys use those orange things. They just kind of wave you through with it. Yeah. Well, anyway, so yeah, I just want to say uh, I think that's a great costume for uh, fat chicks. And uh, can you blow me up? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. What should these fatties dress up as for Halloween? I mean, the fatties want to be sexy too. What do you think they should dress as? This looks like Becky on the Tom Likas show. Becky, hello. Hello. Do you have the radio turned up there, Becky? No, I want to be on air. Oh, you want to be on the air? Okay, hold yeah. on. Yeah. Hold on, please. This is my Tom Like is show at 1 800 5800 Tom. Becky, the Tom Like is show. Hello? Hello, and um, is this Tom? Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I do. All right, hold on, please. This is my Tom Like is showing one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Becky, the Tom Like is show. Hello. Yes. I'm um, this Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? Yes, I do. Uh, hold on, please. This is my show. 
from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Becky on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Um, yeah, I don't appreciate you calling fat people, telling them that they can't wear sexy outfits on fat. And I'm going to be like a cop, right? So You're going to be a fat cop? But how's anyone going to know it's a Halloween costume? I don't go out for Halloween, darling. I heard you were fat, so why are you judging people? Because, darling, you see, here's the deal. Uh, somebody who dresses in a sexy outfit should look sexy. Look it, fat look women don't look sexy. I hate to be the one to tell you, because your mom and dad won't tell you, and your boyfriend won't tell you, but I'm telling you, you know what? fat I'm women... Fat, but I'm beautiful, right? Yeah, I'm I know. Fat, you're fat, but you're beautiful. No, no, you're just I'm fat. Mean. Fat women are not beautiful. They're just not. You're not beautiful. I heard you were fat. I, I don't claim to be beautiful, and I don't go around wearing tube tops or halter tops. No, I, no, don't. I don't. I don't. You, you have big everything, dear. You have a big gut. It hangs over your belt buckle. <laughs> hey, your friends are enjoying that, aren't they? You know what? Why don't you come down and show those rolls of fat to us, and we'll take a picture and put um, it on our website. Why don't you talking and look in the mirror? Derek, why don't you come down here and show us those rolls of fat? We'll take a picture, and we'll put it on my website, and we'll let the audience be the judge of how sexy you are. <laughs> why don't you wear your nice, sexy outfit down here? We'll take a picture. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> She's a piggy piggy. They they just can't handle the truth. There's all the friends around there, all the uh the enablers. Come on, let's go to Cheesecake Factory. I can't believe he said that to you. <laughs> uh, come on, I don't want to do to cheer you up. Let's get a Cinnabon. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. What should the fatties dress as? Uh, Stephen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Yes. How are you, Dad? Spectacular. <laughs> yeah, I think we should get them all naked and brand them with USDA and go cow tipping. <laughs> <laughs> Prime or choice or either one. Either one. Doesn't matter. All right. Can you take me out, Kobe style? Well, with a USDA stamp, sure, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1 800. Wow, it's 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for that. Uh, here is Eric on the Tom Likas show. We're trying to find out, uh, you know, because fatties want to look sexy on Halloween, what they should dress as. Eric, hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Doing great. Um, I say they should go in as the Michelin man. They already have all the roles. They don't have to put the white paint on them. <laughs> then they should borrow somebody's baby and stick it in a tire and run around with the baby in the tire. That's, well, they already have the spare tires. That's true. More. That's absolutely right. Uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, the TV show's great. Can you take me out with a screaming orgasm followed by OJ style? I certainly can. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Lisa Marie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. How you doing? Great. I'm a fatty and I'm proud of it. Really? Yes, sir. What exactly is there to be proud of that you're able to put away an entire dozen Winchell's donuts at one time? The fact that uh, you... actually I don't even really like donuts. I I run a nightclub that caters to all the hot fat women. Oh, they, they've had those. The, the problem is you can't find any men to go to them. We have more men than women. Well, for I fa- come to this club. I can prove it. Yeah, well, I'd love to see it. Club Bounce is the place to club be. Club Bounce. Yes, Club Bounce, my friend. Is that named, after, is that named after a fabric softener? <laughs> no, it's named after fat girls because we like to bounce and we look good. Well, you have no choice but to bounce. That's right, and men love it. They just have to come out of the closet. Yeah, they'll come out of the closet. You know, every time I've heard of one of these clubs, uh, by the way, the newspapers have done stories about these clubs, yeah, and they've right. had a very hard time finding any men to interview when they go there and do the story. I want to see a photograph of multiple men at your club. 
Well, just go to clubbounce.net. You will see tons of men. Clubbounce.net. Yes, we've been on Dr. Phil. We've been on The Insider. I'll you're, tell you. I really? Have so you've been, in our, you've been in our building here, have you? Yes, sir. Check out the photo guy. I'm going right now. <laughs> go right now. You'll I'm see all kinds of people. Clubbounce.net. Is this your club, by the way? Do you own this club? Yes, I do. Of course you do. That's, you're calling up to get a free promo here. <laughs> and I'm going to be one of those costumes you were talking about. I'm going to be the boxer babe. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a look right now. I'm getting on there. Gary, Gary and Art are on there right now. The Long Beach spot for BBWs. There it is. All right, let's get a look here. Go to the photo gallery. Photo gallery. All right, I'm gone right now. Yep, let's, go, to, go to photo gallery. This, okay, awesome. Friday, uh, 10, 12. Oh, that, oh, that's hot. That is I was, hot. I was there last weekend. Go the weekend before, and you'll see me on the first photo. Oh, you're the first. You're, you're, don't be bragging about this. Come on. <laughs> Now, oh, yeah, I'm guys? very proud of my size. Oh, I'm very see. proud of everything I've done. Ew. I run a nightclub that caters to plus size women. I've changed lives. I give a positive change aspect lives. to being sick. I'm not seeing a lot of guys here. I see a couple of guys, and you you telling me they do not have ownership or anything like that. What do you mean, do not have ownership? Like they're not your partner in the business. Oh God, no! We have about 800 people there a weekend. Yeah, but and how we, many are men? A, a minimum of half. Sometimes there's actually more I, men than women. Fine. I'm going to send a spy down there. I'm telling you right now. Send a spy. Send a crew. Send anything Get, you want. What's, you Dean, do, what's Dean doing this weekend? <laughs> Dean? What's the theme this weekend? We're doing a booby bouncing contest. Dean, Dean you have to take the, the camera. Will you allow cameras? Cancer. Will you allow cameras in there? Absolutely. We've had plenty of camera crews in there. All right. Well, good, because uh, we're going to send Dean down there. Yeah, come on down. I would love it. I would love it. Club Bounce welcomes everybody. We don't discriminate against anyone. Well, that's, of course you don't. You can't afford to. <laughs> we don't need to. We actually have lines out the door. We can't even let everybody in. It's so crowded. Yeah, but how many men are in line at the door? <laughs> so many men. We have photos, actually, of, of people in line, and you'll see mainly men. Seriously. Really? You should come down, Tom. I think I might change your mind about fatty. Oh, my goodness. Well... <laughs> I'm not going to comment on the back. men. I'm just going to say one thing. Uh, <clears throat> these are definitely the kind of men I expect to see in line. <laughs> oh, these men are great. These are great guys. Everybody's great that goes. And, and, and you know, the costume thing, we have a great party going next week. I'm going to be a boxer babe. A boxer babe? Yes, a boxer babe. Not a sumo wrestling babe? <laughs> No, and I'm going to look hot. There's going to be plenty of girls there in costumes. And in fact, I run a clothing site too. I'm just going to plug away. Oh my God! All right, well, you hang on, Dean. We want you to put Dean on the list. Dean is coming down with the camera. We have to get a look at this. Tom, 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 like it. Tom, like it. Like it. Like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Are the only women that you date what? God, I hope so. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Yes, even fat women want to dress sexy on Halloween. What should they dress as? It's Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Josh. Uh, a fatty should go as a baker because they can just roll around all night. And they're used to being rolled around in flour. Oh, yeah. Hey, $1,000 worth of flour just to find a quarter of a uh, wet spot. <laughs> I, I bred them to drop the fork and come, walk a couple feet, but... <laughs> Thank you, Josh. They're, they're, they're endangering the kids' lives. They're standing on the sidewalks, and the kids have to almost stand in the street for bad safety. <laughs> Veronica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great. They should go as sumo wrestlers. It'd be really cheap. <laughs> all, they need is like a, a, all they need is like a ponytail. Or like a, and a diaper, pretty much. And a diaper. I think it'd be cute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they should dress sexy? Come on. Uh, not really. I kind of get tired of all the sexy costumes because most people really just don't look good. So, I but that's the amazing little... thing. What gives them the idea that the, that they look sexy? Who's telling them this? I don't know. It's a fantasy. 
I always say go for scary or funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> much safer. <laughs> yeah, well, fat women look scary. There's no doubt about that. Well, can you take me out Jesus style? I certainly can. Jesus Christ style. Here you go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Breck on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Breck. How are we doing today? Do you care? I indeed do, for sure. I'm doing great. Good. Well, I just wanted to call in and uh, actually voice my opinion in defense of uh, my fellow chubby chasers out there. I, uh, <laughs> I agree with you on most things. However, I, uh, I got to disagree on the fact of uh, girls a little more meat on their bones. Not a little more meat. These women are an entire rump roast. Okay, now don't get me wrong. You know, I mean, I'm, I, and I've seen the ad that you're talking about with the with the plus size costumes. I mean, some of those girls are, you know, I mean, they're not. No, they're not. They're not Delta Burke. I mean, you know, they're not. <laughs> oh, please, Delta they're Burke. They're not Wynonna Judd. You know what I'm saying? Delta Burke is hot compared to these chicks. Well, but uh, I do, man. I firmly believe that bones are for dogs, and I like. Nice pair of big boobies and a big juicy. Nobody butt. is suggesting that we want women who are uh, flat as a board and weigh eighty six pounds. We are suggesting that there's something in between. Okay, fair enough. But uh, like I said, I mean, if I if I had to choose between, I don't want a woman who's as fat as Santa Claus. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm with you there. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't like him obese, but I do like him a little more cushiony, if you know what I mean. Why? Well, because you live in Portland, and that's all that's around you. You've resigned yourself to that. <laughs> Not necessarily. There's all types here, my friend. Uh, we've been to Portland, and there's a, a predominance of pork. There is there is some pork here. It yeah. is not an accident that Portland has the most strip clubs per capita of any major city in America. Well, that's not a bad thing. That, but the, there's a reason for it. It's because when men are home, all they've got to look at is pork. Well, that, that that could be true in most cases, but there are, yeah, there are, there come are on. attractive, slender women here in Portland as well. There are not that many, and most of them leave. They go to at least Seattle and sometimes L.A., but they, they leave Portland. All I'm saying is uh, save the thicker ones for me because, like I said before, bones are for dogs. Breck, man. all you have to do is head down Broadway in Portland, and you will they're all yours. You can have every one of them. <laughs> I'll take them. You can have them. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right. Thank you. Uh, Breck supporting the fat women. Of Portland. Very nice. Dave's giving a standing O in there. Hmm. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. What do these women dress as? The fatties. They want to look sexy on Halloween. Larry, hello. Uh hi, Thomas. How are you? Great. Fantastic. Hey, I got a message for Dean real quick. Um you know, if he plans on going to that club bounce, tell him to dress up as a safari dude and bring his elephant gun. Just watch the stampede, bro. Just watch the stampede. <laughs> Dean is going down to club bounce this weekend. All right. With Load his camera. Gun, buddy. <laughs> With hey, his um, camera. You know, <laughs> why should they go online to buy these costumes? You can make one really cheap. You can throw a gray sheet over, zip tie it at the ankles, just put... Goodyear or MetLife across it or something like that. You know, she goes to swim. Buttweiser. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, watch the fart titties. <laughs> yeah, you know, a, a yellow slicker, uh, an umbrella over her head, tie a rope to her ankle. She can go as a weather balloon or something like that. You put a yellow slicker on a woman, she can go as a school bus. <laughs> and my personal favorite, Chumley. You know, Tennessee tuxedos, buddy. <laughs> that's, that's another. Now good that's one. pulling one out of your ass. <laughs> well, it is, ma'am. It is, but hey, it, it's free radio, so let's go with it. <laughs> and, and you know what? It gives me a perfect idea for me to go somewhere oh. too, because I'm just going to bring a, a push broom and just follow these women around. You Dean, know, Dean's like on Google looking up something. Tennessee tuxedo right now. <laughs> Right on, Thomas. Hey, you have a good time this holiday season, man. Hi, right, Larry. Thank you. Chumley, Tennessee Tuxedos. <laughs> Companion. <laughs> Dean, I'll bet Dean has never heard of Tennessee Tuxedo. Yes, Dean, it's a cartoon. Who is the voice of Tennessee Tuxedo, Dean? Not Jim Backus. That was Mr. Magoo. Come on. 
Chumley a walrus? Yeah, he's a walrus. Chumley was a walrus, and yes, but he was large. I'm looking at it right now. You're looking at it right now? Who was the voice of Tennessee Tuxedo? Does anybody know? Uh, Don Adams. Don Adams. Are you looking at it, uh, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, what should the fatties dress up as to look sexy for Halloween? Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Hey, I'd call you Dad, but I'm too uh, too old for that, so I'll call you Uncle. Uncle Dad. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got a great costume, man. They don't have to buy a thing. Really? Can, oh, yeah. They could wear the velvet elastic waistband jumpsuits or their muumu. If anybody asks, what's your costume? All I have to say is, I'm a soon-to-be ex-wife. one 800 800 tom This is Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, Tom, I got a suggestion for the uh, costume for the big fuglies. Yes. Yeah, I, you could just wrap a blanket around them and they could go as piggies in a blanket. <laughs> Tom, you gotta take me out uh, with a bong toka, uh, Aboriginal African travel style. All right, Dan, here you go. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Here's Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, the lady, the, the the bounce lady. Okay. Yes. Um, could you picture? I don't know if I can say this or not, but oh, what the hell? Was, rerun. Could you picture a whole bunch of reruns going into that club? <laughs> Well, if you take a look at the photos on the website, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not taking it any further. Okay. Well, what are, um, for the costume, what they need is... Uh, that, by the way, that was the most delicate gum. way anyone ever phrased something that was politically incorrect. I think that is great. They need a piece of gum <laughs> that has the full dinner and the very last dinner is a blueberry pie. <laughs> and what happens then? You tell me. <laughs> she blows up into a blueberry <laughs> and rolls the whole way down the block. You're out of control. <laughs> hey. Are you smoking weed this afternoon? I'm just curious. This is me, dude. This is just me. Okay. I hear it. one 800 800 Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, oh, oh, Carlos on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How are you, Dad? I'm doing great, sir. Hey, listen, a wonderful topic. I love you, man. I love you. You are my God. Thank but, you. But listen, I've got a good idea, man. We could we could dress these fat bitches up as the uh, Jack in a Box foods, man. <laughs> 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 you know the croissant, man. You know the, the hamburger. That would be a good one, man, because they'd be attacking each other at you know at first sight, man. <laughs> <laughs> These bras couldn't even make it to a club or anywhere or anywhere else, man. I think that would be great, dude. Well, I ain't dress him up as a jumbo crack. I'm a jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> you are wonderful, man. Keep up the good work, man. And, uh, hey, you rock. Can you take me out Kobe style? Of course I can, Carlos. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 Unbelievable. Oh. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. You got that? Tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.